Right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We've got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. Powered by FanDuel Sportsbook. All right, thanks a lot, Ken, and thank you for tuning in to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. Powered by FanDuel Sportsbook. You can give us a call on the Bordas and Bordas hotline at 412-575-2600 is the number. We are talking about the Battling Buccos right now. Their opener in St. Louis going on right now, and they're in the eighth inning, and they're down 3-2. to two. It was 3 nothing. Joe Musgrove, decent outing, not bad. Gave up a couple homers, three earned for him. He went five and two-thirds, almost six innings they got out of him, and that's what you want to get out of your, your starters, six innings, you hope. Um, three earned, not great, but not bad. Uh, no help from the offense. Uh, they didn't start scoring runs until, what, the, the seventh inning here. So, um, you know, not, not a bad start for Joe Musgrove. I wish he would have got a little help offensively. But the Pirates are still in this. They have a chance to win. Um, I'm not entirely encouraged about the season. I made my prediction on KDK News today with Andrew Filipponi. He said 26 wins. I'm saying 23 and 37. That's what I'm going with this season. I thought they would lose today, uh, potentially lose two out of three here in St. Louis. It's good. This is a tough team to beat, especially at St. Louis. All right, a lot to talk about here tonight, and we got one of the best in the country, definitely in the city, no doubt about that. Paul Zeiss is on the other side over at the 93.7, the fan cam. Uh, Paul, I got bucko fever, pennant fever. You got to catch it, baby. How can you have that when they're losing the game? <laughs> Hey, they I'm just glad the baseball's game back. You know, right? I mean, if they lose the game, they face the possibility of being in last place for the entire season. Yeah, I was hoping that they would win this one. Um, a lot of bold predictions out there. I think Pony thought they were going to win this one. A couple other people in town. I just can't see it. Look, I look at, I, I go back, I, I, I look at things, I look at stats. I look at I, the eye test. They haven't been good this entire spring training. Uh, in Florida, at home. They had the worst record, I think, in spring training out of all the teams. Um, and I understand they're meaningless games, but this, this team isn't that good. They don't have good pitching, and they don't have offense. So how do you win? How do you expect to even get to 500? They basically need to make sure they, they win uh, the majority of the starts from Musgrove and Williams. Because I think the other three days, you don't know what you're going to get. You hope that you get something out of Mitch Keller, but... Who, you know, until we see that, who knows? The other two days, you know, it's a crapshoot. I mean, I don't, you know, I don't know how anyone could rely on any of that um, that's going in the fourth and the fifth spot. So you got to win the majority of your games that Musgrove and Williams start because they're going to be the ones, you know, that are supposed to win games for you. And I just don't know that I see a lot of other opportunities in their starting rotation. Paul, have you, is there anything that tells you they can do any better than 500, those two starters? I mean, at best, I see maybe winning 60% of their games. Now, I think the key for this team this year is Mitch Keller. If he turns into a number one guy, then maybe they have a shot. Maybe. Maybe they have an outside shot. But you need Mitch Keller to be that shutdown number one guy. Then you have somewhat of a, a decent rotation with Keller, Musgrove well, as your well, two, he, and Williams as your gonna, three. Yeah. He, I can tell you right now, Keller is not going to be that guy. Well, but, you know, between, they need him to. Between the three... Well, he's not going to be that. If they, if they have three guys, go, they you know, probably have about 36 starts out of those three guys. You know, for them to have a chance really to do anything, they're going to have to win like 22, 23 of those 36 starts. And I, I don't know if they can do that. Yeah, I don't either. That's why I picked them to go 23 and 37. That was my final pick after watching the preseason, seeing what they have here. I just don't – There's there's – there's so many holes in this lineup, too. Not only the pitching. I know we're, picking, we're, we're pointing at the pitching right now and picking on the pitching a little bit, but um, this, this, this lineup isn't great. How many good bats are in this lineup right now? You have Adam Frazier as your number three hitter. Adam Frazier. I mean, that, that's not a good lineup. Well, you got to figure if you get, uh, you know, Polanco back, um, you know, you can have, I guess, uh, Frazier would move to like your seven hole and you got Reynolds as your three hitter and I mean you know I mean if, if you go Newman in the two spot then Reynolds then Bell then uh, Osuna then Polanco or something like that I mean it's not it's not uh, the 27 Yankees but it's not terrible either 
No, but it would be nice if they had one more bat in that lineup and maybe one more decent starting pitching. I mean, they got about six, seven good pitchers on this team right now. I was trying to go through the starters. You know, three of them are decent, you think. Um, we don't know what we have in Derek Collin. And then you got two guys that are going to be your fifth starter, uh, Brault and Cool, who should be middle relievers. If they were middle relievers, that would make the bullpen so much better. And then you had a decent starter that could maybe be a two or three guy. Just think about how much better this team would be if you added, you know, two or three pieces. Really, you, you, a good, a well, good I mean, starting again, pitcher and a good bat. If they added a good starting pitcher and a good reliever, it would really go a long way towards help. And that's the two areas they need the most help. Um, you know, a bat is what it is. But I think, you know, they've got some younger guys that maybe are going to be able to come up and help. I just feel like, you know, their pitching is going to be the one thing that I don't know that they're going to be able to rely on it the entire year, uh, especially if they don't get what they need out of Musgrove and Williams. They have no chance. All right, we got to take a break. We're going to take your phone calls coming up next. 412-575-2600 on the Bordison Bordis Hotline. Back in two minutes.